So good morning, good afternoon, good day, good evening, depending on where you're watching us from. I'm so glad and delighted to bring you yet another episode tonight. And the episode is all about the 30 days challenge that we are doing. If you're new here, my name is Claire. I'm a lover of Jesus. I'm a mother. I'm a wife. I'm a, le I'm a senior lecturer at a local university. I teach food science and nutrition, and I enjoy bringing to you guys or talking about healthy bodies. And so today is no different because I will spend a couple of minutes talking to you guys about how to look after your health. If you're new here, I'm glad that you could find us. I'm happy that you stopped by today. Feel free today. I hope that you enjoy and have a great time here and that you learn something new that will help you to enhance yourself, to enhance your health and become a better you. If you're a returning viewer, we really appreciate your support. We are so glad and grateful that you get to do this journey with us. If you're new here and if you're not yet subscribed, maybe you might want to consider to make this your tribe and we'll be more than happy to encourage, to continue to share this information and so encourage us by maybe liking, uh, sharing, commenting or subscribing onto this channel so that we can continue to share the information that we are sharing with you guys. And so we have been on a journey, 30 days of intermittent fasting challenge. Today is day eight, and it has been quite interesting and nice to see so many people chatting with me, sending me private messages, telling me that they are doing this journey together with us, and that's really encouraging. And so before I go further today, I'm just going to try, I don't know if my, my camera is going to follow me. I'm just going to try to show you simple things that I usually do because today I'm talking about a practical way or a typical fasting day, how it looks like for me. So we have been doing this. I'm doing the 16-8. So since morning, we, we I haven't had any food. And so I'm going to have my first meal of the day. And I want to just show you guys some of the things that I usually have when I finish a fast. And then I'll talk about how a fast day looks like. So I've got here just a blender. I've got here some frozen fruits. And they're just basically four berries medley. So there's like all the these... Um, there's some raspberries, strawberries, blackberries, and black currants inside there. And this is what I'm going to be using tonight just to make a simple drink that is quite really, really, really nutrient dense and can really help me in terms of impacting my, my, my health, my weight, my, and, and things like that. So I'm just going to put in a few strawberries in there or these mixed berries in there. Oopsie. So I put a few strawberries in there. After more, some of them fell off. This is no plant beforehand. So sometimes you need to prepare for those uh, things that can happen that you didn't really plan to see them happening. And then I'm going to put in a banana because I love my bananas. Just a, a banana. I'm just going to break it in there. And then to get me some protein, I don't take dairy. You can use dairy, but I'm just using some soya milk. So I'm just going to pour in some soya milk so you can see how the whole thing looks like. Then we will do just a quick blending. And this is a very simple smoothie that anyone can make anytime, anywhere. It can be really good. You can bring it with you to the office. You can bring it with you after the first so that you can quickly have it like as the first drink once you finish with your fasting. So I'm just going to try to blend that in a minute. It really didn't take me that long, a couple of seconds, maybe blending that up. And it's quite really a very thick drink. And I can show you the consistency. And because I've got some berries in there, 
I've got like um I've got some berries in there, I've got the milk in there, all these and the bananas, they have all the advantages and the health benefits that you can find from there. And this is a drink that I love to make. You can make it a bit more lighter in consistency. If you like lighter, you can as well just top in a little bit more milk and that makes it a bit more runny or you can add it more thicker. It all depends on what you want at the end of the day. So today I wanted just to share a little bit about my, my day, how I spend my day or, or how my fasting day looks like. So let's begin like what, how it happens in the, what it happens in the morning. So I wake up in the morning, my alarm goes usually at 5.30. But I try to wake up earlier than 5.30. Sometimes I wake up by 5 in the morning. And then I'll do my morning prayers and then morning devotion if you like. If so, you like it. That makes it much more easier for you to understand what I'm meaning. And then after that, I basically hit the road. I go for a run. I aim to run just 5 kilometers every single day. And the aim is usually to do about half an hour of 5 kilometers. And then when I come back home, because now we're doing this challenge, I come back home and then I get myself my bottle of water. I'm just putting a bit of squash now this evening because uh, it's a bit cold today and I just don't like um, having cold drinks when it's really cold. So towards the end of the day, I just encourage myself Good to see you, Steve. I just encourage myself to put in some little um, squash in there so that at least it can keep me going and because I drink quite a lot of water. And so when I come back from my running, this is the first thing that I do. I get my hydration back. I get my water in there so that at the end of it all, I'm trying to fight against any dehydration, against anything that can make me to start to have like um, headaches and things like that. And then the other thing that I do is I read my Bible. I'm a really strong believer in a, a chapter a day. So I usually do. I love doing one chapter of Proverbs every single day. So I do a Proverbs a day for my head because proverbs are good for the head they give you wisdom so i do every single day depending on the day of the week so if it's like to uh, no, day of the week day of the month so today is the 21st of august so i did proverbs 21st 21 i read my my chapter and sometimes i do read as well as some they say psalms are good for the heart proverbs are good for the head and then once I finish that, I go do into my book. I read my 10 pages of a book. So this book, I'm doing it now. And it's just been quite encouraging me. And I was telling you guys, I, I read a little bit about purpose from this book last week. And one of the things that has just been encouraging me, like he, this guy talks about the finisher's focus. And I was reading earlier on, you were saying about the pursuit of purpose provides much needed focus required to finish. And for now, like, for example, my purpose or my goal is to do 30 days of this challenge. And when I have that purpose, I have that needed focus that will keep me on the track, that will keep me continuing until at the end of the day, I'm able to hit the target of 30 days of intermittent fasting. And then once I've finished that, the next thing that I usually do I just do like a couple of minutes of journaling. And when I do, I'm doing this journaling, I'm kind of just reminding myself of the good things. So like I'm writing down some good thoughts or maybe if I've even done something that I wasn't particularly happy about, I might just take one or two minutes to reflect on it, to reflect on what have I learned at the end of the day. And that helps me with planning again to think about how can I be a better person or how can I be the best version of me? Because that's one of the goals that I I have at the moment and of course that's now time to start work so I get into the office if I'm going into the office or if I'm doing home office I get into my 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 dine, my, my place um, so my office and then after that I switch on the computer start doing the things that I need to do and that kind of in a way takes me through like I'll do my emails if I'm writing up I write up if I am uh, whatever that I'm doing basically as my job has different it looks different every single day and I start also with a to-do list so I put down and say these are the things I want to do today and then this is how I'm going to try to do them break them down into smaller chunks and then I work through them and of course once it comes to around 5 p.m. it's usually the time when if I'm not teaching my my work day finishes around 5 6 p.m when i come back home or if i am home already the first thing i'll do is to try to reach out for a warm drink so today i'm gonna have a cold drink 
obviously because I made this and it tastes really, really sweet because of the berries. They've given it a really nice yummy and sweet taste if i am uh if i'm coming back home most of the time i try to just do like a warm drink to kind of restart my metabolism to restart my digestive system to awaken it again and after that now i can have my my dinner and i try to eat just the normal food as the rest of the family because i've got a soon to be six year old and i just don't want to kind of start to make my different food from the rest of the family so i eat exactly what the other people eat the only thing is that if i'm eating for example i'll reduce on my carb increase on my protein intake and if i don't eat red meat i don't drink dairy so if they are having like something that is beef or things like that, I'll have maybe pulses or legumes. That's where the difference is. But when it comes to the rest of the things, like if it's rice, we all eat rice. If it is like whatever it is that we are eating. And then after that, I have like an evening where I'll do some reflection. Sometimes I go back to my journaling again. I do journal the, the stuff maybe to think about the day. Or maybe if I wrote something down that I was thinking about, like I want to come back to this, it gives me an opportunity in the evening to come back to eat it gives me an opportunity to see maybe the blessings of the things that have happened throughout my day and I'm able to count back and say like thank God because I've done A, B, C, D thank God because my day has been great or if it wasn't great I have points for reflection so that next time I will be able to, to work on those things that were not great. And so there are some of the things that I've learned along the line uh, through uh, kind of in a way trying to establish this rhythm of fasting and having it as a lifestyle. One of the things that I realized, and I would just want to talk to you about some practical tips that can help you to kind of have an effective fasting day. Number one is something to do with your shopping. Whenever I'm going into, let's say this is going to be 30 days, I try to ensure that when I'm shopping, I'm not shopping foods that will tempt me. I've talked about the temptations before, but also things like if I'm shopping a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables and maybe I'm not able to eat all of them, it gets to a point one, you're wasting food and my body starts to feel bad about, my mind is feeling bad about food waste. But you can actually decide and say instead of wasting the food or instead of buying lots of those easily perishable foods, you can decide and say you'll buy mainly just what you need. So if you want to have like, let's say a salad at the end of the day, buy this fresh stuff for the salad. Or you can buy, as I said, like now I got some frozen berries and these frozen, they can just stay in the freezer for a couple of weeks for sure. And I don't need necessarily need to use them all and feel like I have to eat and finish everything simply because I've got the fresh fruit. So you can choose and try to do that, which is a way or a, a, a way that can actually encourage you so that at the end of it all, you're trying to, uh, to encourage yourself to eat healthily, but also to avoid all those temptations or also food waste because it's very easy for you to end up wasting food because you're fasting and you're not using the food at the end of the day. And if you're not using the food at the end of the day, it can easily go to waste. The other thing that I also do Oh, I will encourage you to think about also the, the food that you cook. Let's say if you cook a whole load of plate or, I mean, pot of rice or whatever, there are chances you begin to feel like when you start to have those hunger pangs and the cravings and the things like that, you will easily go into like, oh, well, but I have food in the fridge, in the freezer, whatever. Can I just not take it out and start to eat? Rather than if you didn't have the food, when you start to think about the whole process of starting to kind of cook again from scratch, it can actually motivate you to continue with your of fasting until the end of the day also when you're fasting it can be really tempting you can say oh well i've been the whole day without food i've not eaten so let me try to eat big portions so that i can be able to keep my body going but then if you're overeating the night before you're fasting the next day chances are you wake up feeling extra hungry and if you're feeling extra hungry you'll actually want to eat more so at the end of it all if you're feeling more hungry and you want to eat more more that can actually work against you meeting your targets let's say if your target was to lose weight etc so what i will highly encourage or recommend is 
try to think about at the end of the day, I want to kind of get myself into a rhythm so that I'm not eating too much, eating just that I'm full, but not too overly full. So that when you wake up in the morning, you're still feeling okay and not necessarily feeling already too hungry because that's chances that you will not be able to continue with the fast until the end of the day. And of course, the other thing again to think about is when you're stopping eating again, try to think of like maybe eating more protein, which keeps you full for longer rather than eating something that will make you feel hungry quickly. And that can actually make you to get to a point that you'll be like giving up and getting off uh, at the, from the fasting at the end of the day. And so as I bring this to an end, I don't want to really make this to become very long, um, recordings per se i just want to encourage somebody who is doing this or he's on the fence and thinking like how can i easily do this it does seem like a very complicated day it does seem like a very difficult routine to follow it's not difficult it's so simple it's so easy all that you need to do or all that you need to think about is you're thinking about how can i be effective how can i be able to kind of in a way switch off and tell my mind you're going to stay for a given period of time without necessarily eating and when you're telling your mind that it's not that you're allowing yourself to starve but you're allowing yourself to go for a period of time to allow those results that are being stored to be broken down and once they're broken down you are refeeding and ensuring that you're feeding on things that are going to be giving you good optimal health they're going to be advancing you in in the area of your health they're going to be making you to prosper in the area of your health and that you end up with those benefits that will be good for your body and so i don't want to bring this to a very long recording it's just going to be a very quick one as i was trying to explain to you how my day looks like and how i manage to do this and what i do on my practical practical things that i do on my day and i hope this was encouraging i hope this was useful to anyone and of course as i said if this has been helpful if you're still on the on the fence thinking about it, we still have 22 more days to go. It's not yet too late to join. You can still join us, and you'll still be able to make it a habit, as it takes 21 days to make uh, to make anything part of your habit. So we can still be able to do it together. And if this is helpful, and if this has been in any way encouraging to you. Please leave us a comment, like it, subscribe, and we'll be more than happy to invite you to welcome you on the tribe. I shall see you again tomorrow with a different topic. Until then, my prayer for you is that you will prosper and be in a good health even as you so prospers. Continue pressing on, continue working on that goal that you're working on because at the end of the day, if you stay focused, you have something you're focusing on, you have a goal you're focusing on, chances are at the end of the day you will be successful until tomorrow goodbye and i shall see you on the next e episode as i bring it along to talk about day nine of the fasting which shall be tomorrow in the evening bye bye everyone